Oh, what are you doing? Trying to get back in shape. <laughs> good luck. You're just wasting your time. Well, Mom, don't you know the benefits of exercising and good eating habits? The only dumbbell I need is this ding dong. Well, you need to pay close attention to this next piece, and you do too. Eat this, man. It's good for you. I'm not really very hungry right now. It used to be that the overweight kid got teased by the other kids, but could you imagine if the world was different and there are more chubby people than thin people? Two out of three American adults are obese, and one in five American kids are obese. The National Institute of Health believes that obesity is an epidemic in the United States. What is obesity, and how is it affecting our lives? Obesity is an epidemic in the United States, and it's classified as when an individual is 20% or more greater than their ideal body weight. To become obese, a person is um, eating more energy in the form of calories than they're expending. Now we have a new classification called morbid obesity when an individual is 50 to 100 percent greater than their ideal body weight. At least a quarter of the adolescent population gets no regular physical activity on a daily basis. Huh? What do you mean no physical activity? Teens are definitely less active than they were in the past. There's a lot more watching of TV, a lot more video game playing than there, there was in the past. What is really the cause of obesity is generally just having too much going in and not enough going out. Why are people in America so overweight? What are we doing wrong? I believe it's a third of the American diet is um, Sweets like cakes and cookies and soda are the two biggest contributors to our diet. Less than 10% of our calorie intake is coming from fruits and vegetables, you know, which should be a lot greater. Some parents are not setting a proper example because of time constraints, the convenience of fast food, frozen food. We tend to reach for the more times a week than we actually should instead of preparing balanced home-cooked meals. The habits that we pick up during childhood and, and our youth, the ones that tend to stick with you, but in, in general our society seems to be um, more and more fast food, convenience food, you know, relying on those type of things. There is so much fast food, you know, in society, and that food is typically completely devoid of any type of nutritional value, and it's very high in calories, so it definitely can lead to those issues with obesity that we had talked about before. So what's it going to take to stop this obesity epidemic? We can start by burning off those calories. I would definitely suggest that teens do something where they move every day, you know, uh, recreation, recreational sports, athletics, um, just getting outside and doing stuff, just not sitting on the couch, not being sedentary. Um, I think it's just a very important thing, not only for teens, but for everybody. I think the push for um, the younger generations, children, adolescents to become more physically active is, um, you know, really, really where we need to focus. We need to watch what we eat and get back to basics. We can start out by cutting out the junk food and setting a good healthy example for our young ones. The habits that we learn as children are, are particularly tenacious. They tend to really stick with you. This problem won't be solved overnight. Stay with it. You can see results in just six months. Remember, you're trying to change old habits that you've had for years. So eat good and sweat yourself to a happy, healthier you. Man, maybe I shouldn't have eaten those chips for breakfast. <laughs> Exercising and eating healthy isn't something you should do just to fit in those jeans. Living a long, healthy life is important. And you should start now while you're young. Speaking of which, hey, Lamont, what's your favorite sport? Basketball. <laughs>